Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Tracy's Art and Craft and I'm here today doing a bit of ephemera building. Um, so that's basically where I try to build up, uh, make a mass amount of um, ephemera to put into journals. Later on I could come back, decorate them and slot them in and then also, you know, decorate the page with it. So I like to do this because I do make quite a few journals, I do get quite a get through quite a few so I do like to get sort of like a big mass made of certain things that I pop them in and one of the things I like to make are these sort of wrap over pockets I haven't made them in a while and I thought I'd do them so you have a pocket here this will be a pocket it will go over a page and then on the other side of the page you have another pocket and a second pocket just here you could also put on little labels and things turn that into a mini pocket for stamps and whatnot so yeah, they're really versatile and they're really quick and easy and that's great for beginners as well because they are so quick and easy. Um, I'll probably get decorating one of these as we make them, but I'm just going to go through and show you how I make them really quickly and easily. I make them, I glue them together and they're done and that is as simple as that. So what you need is two different pieces of A4 paper. So I'm just going to look through mine and just grab myself a couple of pieces of paper. So this pretty blue one. And I'm actually going to go for a card one, um, just because I've got these thick bits of card that I didn't know what to do with. They're really pretty, got beautiful little swans on, but I just wouldn't necessarily use them. So what I always do is I take these and I cut them in half. Today I'm using just my ruler. Um, not for any reason, I'm just being lazy, really. And I'm just going to go straight up the line. That is roughly half, it doesn't matter if it's not. And you can cut them in half. So these are A4. Um, American would be sort of normal letter size. And there we go. So I've cut, I've cut that on the length in half. And then what you do is you fold them. And now this one I will probably have as an over one, sort of over a page. So you just fold them both in half, sorry about this, there we go, being all fingers and thumbs today, just get my bone folder out, there we go, I'll probably have it like that going over the page, and then we fold this in half, now this would normally go over but I'm debating how I want this one, I don't know if I want to use this piece. Because by the time I've stuck this on, it's going to cover up those beautiful swans. Or if I put it this way, I could just cut off a little piece. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That's how I'll do it. See, even for me, it takes a little bit of working out what you want when you've got pictures on the paper. Um, so it probably will be for you. You just have to sit there and decide how you want it to look on the page. If you you just got to sort of use a imaginary page. If you have trouble imagining things, just grab another piece of um, A4 paper. I do apologise. I have chewed my nails. I am a nail biter. I had stopped and grown them, and then I had a massive um, essay for my studies. I'm studying a degree, and that massive essay meant I bit my nails to pieces so it caused me quite a bit of stress yeah I'm not going to do a thumb hole on this one I like how that looks so all you do is you open up the glue down the two sides and now my glue doesn't want to work because that's the video I'm making today I'm making a disaster video again you guys must get bored of them you must be like oh god not another disaster you probably come away from your own disasters because as crafters we're we're pretty disastrous aren't we so there we go i know i am i'm oh non-stop mistakes i make that's okay we, we just work with it so and then you come on the other side and glue down the two sides that you don't want to be the pocket part There we are. 
there we go and once you put this into your book you would just glue down these sides here and put it over a page I'll probably get a piece of paper and show you what I mean when I say so say this is your page of your book it'll come on and go over just like that now I've got some large pages in one of my journals where this would look really really nice and then you would just glue down the two sides on this side of the page and then on the other side of the page you do the same and just glue down the two sides and then you have a pocket there and a pocket there if that makes sense usually these ones are for this side but the swans meant i really wanted that one to be a top load and one if it wasn't for the swans that would be a side load and one like this one's going to be I'm just making sure it's a straight. This is just really, really thick um, card making card. I don't know where I got it from. I think it was one of one of those magazine things. Um, oh, that side's cute, isn't it? I might use a starry side this time, make it a little bit different from the other one. There we go. I'm just going to snip off this side and have this one on the outside this time. So I just I I estimate how much I want, but one way you can measure it is. You could put it over the top, you know, measure it without measuring. I mean, obviously, if you like measuring, you can, of course, you can measure these. And you could decide how much you want it off and just give one side a bend. And then from there, you would have a cutting guide or a tearing guide, whichever you want to do. So, like I say, I'm in a really lazy mood today. And I'm here just to enjoy myself. So, I don't really want to be... Um, you know doing anything I'm not going to enjoy so this time I'm going to do thumb holes now what I do like to do is if you've got a sharp thumb hole punch and you're not using a really thick card you can put them together like this butt them up against each other and then do them together and if you do that let's see if this will do it no it's not going to do it if you do that you'll get two in exactly the same place my one's not going to do it but I have marked them so that will help there we go and then this one should have the marks they're really slight I don't know if you can see them but they're really slight just here and I can might but then I'm up against the punch oh, even two bits of this card is too thick it's just really really bad I wouldn't normally use it it's just that I want to use it up because I've got it and it just keeps sitting in my drawers and it's not doing anything. Sorry, I've had to bring it to me so I could see what I was doing. Oh my days, it is so tough. There we go, that went through just about. Oh, dear me. That's a tough card. There we go. That is actually a really good punch. Don't don't um <laughs> don't judge it on my terrible punching there. But um, I put that the right way around, or should it be this way? Let me draw it better that way. Ah, oh, that's it. That's better that way. Don't worry if these don't meet up on this side because this could be covered by the page. So you're not going to know that that's um not meeting up. I'm using the world's thickest tacky glue at the moment. I've added water and that's still not enough. I might have to add some more soon. If I can't get this to work, I'll get one of my other glues out. Yeah, I'm just going to get one of my other glues. Let's get this one. This one won't let us down. This is not art glitter glue in here. This is, I had um, a tacky glue that was at the end of its bottle. And I couldn't get the rest out, I had to add water. And I needed a fine point nozzle um, because it was just going to be too runny. And so I decided to reuse an art glitter glue bottle. So that's not art glitter glue, that is just tacky glue with water. I don't want to mislead anyone thinking that that's what I'm using, I'm not. There we go. 
yeah I just didn't have um for one of my fine nozzles here I didn't have another bottle to use um so I just picked up behold art glue glue I thought that would do there we go so that's another one to go over the page so they're really quick really easy and yeah I'm not going to explain anymore I'm just going to get on with it and um, hopefully just watching me will help you guys these are all different weights of paper some are coffee paper some are not um, if you want to reinforce any feel free go ahead I find once I've stuck everything that I want to on them they're pretty well reinforced anyway I'm just going to take off the edges of here uh, this is one of the collage papers by Shabby Bobby Doodle, I believe. I have yet got to print off my papers so that I can show you because I've got some beautiful, really bright springtime ones coming out. They're absolutely adorable. But um, yeah, I decided to do some really bright ones rather than vintage. I don't know. I was in the mood for it, I guess. And. find another piece of paper to go with that. Yes, so um got to print those off and I want to do a, um, a little show and tell make a little something with them with you guys oh seriously I'm having one of them days nothing wants to tear properly I don't know what I'm getting this as well I'm done it's now starting to feel easier if I just cut it. There we are. Not much patience today, have I? One of them days, one of them days. I think it's because I've been washed off my feet all day. And, um, you know, I've said this before. When I get washed off my feet, I just stay that way. I, um... I seem to relax down afterwards. I don't use paper trimmers, so I always mention that I know but, um, some people always, um, well, always, not always, sometimes, some people mention, oh, um, if a paper trimmer would be easier, and um, yeah, I just don't use them, because I, I just don't pull them out, you know, I just I always use what's on hand, and the smaller tools are always on hand. So here I should be able to demonstrate because they're both quite a copyweight paper. Maybe a little thicker than copyweight. I don't think so. I think they're copyweight. Um, I should be able to demonstrate what I meant by punching two at the same time. Oh, there we go. It didn't work. I didn't expect that to work. There we go. So now that I've punched them both in the same place, once you put them together, they will be lined up with each other if that makes any sense I don't know so yeah I love these little pockets what I'm planning on doing is I've got quite a few tubs I've got a tub that um is for unfinished ephemera pieces I've got a tub that's for finished ephemera pieces I'm gonna have a tub I'm not using so what I thought I would do is I thought I would make it so that I had a tub for pockets and a tub for journaling cards and tags and then a tub for any other finished pieces of ephemera to put inside pockets you know whether they be pictures or postcards or anything like that and so i thought i would do that and just rearrange that type of thing 
ready to fill a load of journals because I've got a load of journals finished they just need um, a little bit more filling so I just thought organizational wise that would probably work a little bit better for me this first before cutting that will probably be easier So yeah, I will be drawing the winner to last week's um, little giveaway. It's only a little one because I can only do it to the UK and only a few people have entered because I don't have many people, you know, subscribed yet or anything. But you know, I, I thought I'd make it and that I just wanted to give something for free to sort of um, spread a little happiness and joy. You know, and I thought that would be nice. For somebody to receive in the post i don't get happy mail i don't receive it um but I, I do like to give it you know i think it's really um really nice it sort of makes me happy to think that somebody's received something and you know it's cheered them up in their day or whatever let's trim this up a little bit A bit better. Rubbish cutting there. Absolute rubbish cutting. So yeah, I've been a busy day today. I've been so today is Sunday for me. I'm just doing this a little bit ahead because um, I never get my blooming videos up on time, and so I never get anything done and up and running. So I'm trying to be a little bit more organised. Whether that's going to work or not is a whole nother matter. But today is Sunday. The kids are back to school after their holidays break tomorrow. So, and I'm going to be walking them to school. They do. They go to school quite far away. Um, not not incredibly far, but it is a sort of 45 minute walk um, at fast pace. So you know, it's quite a distance in a sense, which gets me a good amount of exercise in. I love it so I really love the walk back um, I walk through a lovely park in my area and it's just so beautiful and lovely and quiet and nice so it's a really enjoyable walk so I'm looking forward to that I have missed it um, what else is going on so yeah I've been doing tons of laundry getting things clean for when the kids are back at school and out of my way because then I can get things done around the house if the kids are um, here not that I, I don't like them here I absolutely adore it when they're here it's, it's brilliant I have so much fun with them but when they're here um, you know they always want snacks they always want something they you know they need a lot so the housework kind of takes a second place in all of that um so it does fall behind a little bit over the holidays and um, so i've just been doing that um, i'm preparing for my next essay because it's just never ending luckily i am coming to the end of the year sorry just looking for another piece of paper use this piece I think so yeah I'm coming to the end of the year I've got two more essays and then an end of year essay to do um, which I'm really looking forward to the end of year essay it's where I research something on my own so that's going to be great fun I'm going to really enjoy that um, if you're wondering what I'm studying I'm studying classical studies so ancient Greek and Romans and um, Latin 
Next year is when I start my Latin course. So yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying the course. I absolutely love it. So much fun. Um, just the last couple have not been my cup of tea at all. Um, and so I was rather stressed about them. I didn't want to do them. And I think when you're really not enjoying something, it just feels all that much harder. Um, but I actually think I did well in the end, so that's good. So a little bit more studying tomorrow, I think. Um, but mainly I'm going to be doing the draw and then um, I have a collaboration to do tomorrow, which is going to be so much fun. Um, and that is um, Caterpillars in Disguise, which is all about butterflies. So I'm going to make us a beautiful ephemera with that. I'm so excited. And I'm going to be using my own butterfly and bugs um, digi kits. Find those on Etsy. But I'm going to be using those so I can get a proper play with them because I haven't had a chance to have a play with them yet. So that's going to be great fun. I'm really, really looking forward to that. Oh, I really like that purple with this blue. It's so nice. Of course, if they're left like this, say I haven't put the foam holes in, and they're left like this, if you open them up, they can actually be left as like a flip up with, with the um, or flip out with pockets, you know, so you could just clip them in and not actually glue them in. So they're quite versatile in that way. So these are just one of the things I mean, I'm not going to say that the, I, I did not create this idea. Um, I've seen a couple of people do it. I think Roxy Creations may have done something similar. Shabby Dabby Doodah definitely has. Um, I know she's got a mass make or something very similar to this called quad Is it Quadruple Pockets or something? I'm not sure. Um, but I know lots of people have made similar things. I'm not going to say I you know, designed this because I didn't. Um, I'm going to cut this quite small this time. Thinking straight thoughts, there we go. I want this quite a small pocket this time. I'm just going to cover up this bird here, like so, so that we've got this bird peeking out. I like that. So yeah, other than that, I haven't got a lot planned for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, my collaboration comes out on Tuesday, but I'm going to be doing it um, a little bit early, doing it tomorrow. Um, what else have we got planned for this week? Oh, I've been making snippet rolls. So I'll show you those once they're complete and maybe make one with you guys. So you can see how easy they are. They're great for if you do do any sewing. Um, they're a great way to use up any of your scraps. And, you know, if you are a sewer and you do something like that, people love them. You can sell them on Etsy and things. People love them. Um, I do like to buy them from time to time as well. Because they just look so cute and they come through and they just make you so happy and they come through in the post. I know, absolutely daft, but... I can't help myself, I love pretty things. Let's pull down another one. Here we go, look, I'll show you my paper pile that I've pulled out. Oh, not that, that's my son's stickers. So I've pulled out some of those cards. Um, I have a lot of these papers as well. Let's have a look at some of these. 
because these ones are double sided and when they're double sided you could use one side and then the other let me show you so cut it in half Use one side that way, and then you can use the other side this way. So you're using one sheet of paper, but it's um, using both of the designs on it if you've got double sided papers. These came in a pad, I don't know what it's called. I always lose the um, you know, like the front pieces of the pad. I just take them off using for other things. I have here, this is a little tin and this is where I keep all my scrap fab, um, strips of paper ready for collaging. And when that gets full I start collaging with it. I think I will do some holes in this one. See the punch does work. Mental. I'm not caring right now where I put the thumb holes because yeah I can't be bothered to care <laughs> there we go oh wow that is pretty straight for not caring I tell you I couldn't do that again if I tried there we go oh I better just check the time because I'm really getting on I should probably get one of these decorated as well use you that's what will happen it gets 30 minutes and my phone will cut off and then i'll probably be like three more away and you won't know where you were i won't know where you were there we go there's lots of different ways you could take these as well add extra pockets um you know, you could turn them into little notebooks as well if you didn't cut this one and you just cut this one little pocketed notebooks. There's loads you could do with these. I'm going to do one more. And then we'll get one decorated, I think. So yeah, all I did was I just went into my drawer and just pulled out a whole bunch of papers that have just been there for so long. I've had them for ages. And I thought, well, it's about time they saw the light of day and had a little something turned into them. That's not straight at all. Right, there we go. This one I'm leaving without a thumb hole, thinking I might put some lace along the edges of the um, pockets. So if you don't want to do a thumb hole, you don't have to. If you don't have a punch, a circle punch, I say two inch, inch and a half and an inch are the best ones. Um, but if you don't have one, um, you can just grab something like your Mod Podge lid and just pop that down and draw around the edge. Anything like that. So um, don't feel you've got to go out and buy special things. Like I say, I don't, I don't generally buy special things um, for my crafting. The reason I have them is because of gifts. So people know I love my crafting. They look up what would be good for it and they buy me gifts for it. Um, but I probably wouldn't go out and buy these things for myself. The only thing I did buy for myself is the circle punch because I did want a larger one because I loved my little one inch punch and thought I'd like to have some bigger finger holes. But generally I, I wouldn't really, a lot of the supplies I have I wouldn't go out and buy specially for myself because there's other ways around it, you know. So I'm going to decorate these ones because they're my favourite at the moment. 
so let's have a little look what have I got to hand I've got a few butterflies up here to hand which I think would definitely look lovely let's pull out my tickets to see if there's any that I like the look of I want some of my lighter colour ones so I've got a whole pot here of tickets that I'm just rummaging through um, majority of these are shabby dabby doo -dah, but I'm not going to say all you may see some that are from other people oh, I like that one You may see some that are from other people. Um, these are just basically, I cut them out and I put all my little labels in one place. Green as well. i leave that there. That should do it. them down so I'm not really thinking much um, I would normally do these before I put them into a journal so on these ones I'm not really thinking about much I'm just going to do what I feel um, but normally I would do these I'd ink it all up and everything before I put it into a journal currently I don't have any thought processes going on have here some little postcards from G from Happiness and Crafting. Thinking that would make a nice little pocket just at the corner there. I'm just going to add that on as an extra little pocket. Like I said before, we could put little stamps in there, all kinds of tiny little pieces, tiny little tag, anything like that. There we go. I forgot to stick this down. Of course I did. Of course I forgot. There we go. Um, what else do I want on there? Uh, these are from Janie B, these packets. I'm just gonna this packet, I'm just gonna have a little look and see what's about. Oh yeah, I like that. Of course you can ink things. I'm not inking anything at the moment um, because I don't know where it's gonna go. Um, and usually my journals have an ink theme, so some will be vintage photos, some might be a darker brown because they're more grungy, some might be the pink or a purple, anything like that. So I like the, I'd like to ink it my own theme so I can just go over all this at a later date. But this is why I don't usually decorate them until I put them in my journal. Or until I'm about to fill a journal and then I'll go through a bunch and just decorate a bunch of ephemera like you saw the other day when I made a video on it. So that's one side. I do decorate up both sides because that's how they're going to look on the um, pages, you know. So you want them to be decorated up. I'm loving the little tabs. I don't know what set these are from. These are from, I swear they're from one of her 100 piece mystery sets. Um, don't hold me to that because I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I like that. Let's put on the next one. Have any one of those moments. Oh, 
Oh, I know. Chubby Gabby Doo Dars, Edwardian ladies. I love these little ladies. I haven't cut out the really small ones yet. I've just left them with their white on. But um, look how lovely they are. Oh, I love that. So cute. Right. You're having wings, Missy. Yes, you are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put the wings on. I see that there's a bit overlapping. I'm actually going to cut that bit off because if it's going to be on the side of the page, it's going to be in the way. So I'm definitely going to cut that off. That's so pretty. If I just cut that wing off, that will um, make sure it doesn't get damaged. <laughs> Cute. On to the other side. Yep, I'm going to have another little pocket just down here. So my little wet wipe, my dry wipe, is um, getting all stuck together and all gluey. Just come across that and I think that's cute. That can just pop in there like that. Cute. Should I do another pocket? Yes, why not? Sorry, I've gone all quiet again. Just concentrating. I think I've got a stamp on the credit tie stamps. I've got a couple of journals sitting up on there and they are in the way of my stamps. So I'm just peeking my hand through a hole, trying to reach a few. Ooh, that's a few too many. But we did get ourselves one. So there's our finished little pockets. And how many did we make in total? We made those two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've made ten in total um, in that short amount of time. And yeah, if I wasn't talking, I'd probably get a few more done a bit quicker, but that does get me a bulk load done ready just to slot into some journals and things. And they're all different colours, so you can go through and sort of match what's going to suit what journal. So yeah, I hope you've liked those. I hope you like how the designs turned out. She's my favourite. I can't wait to use her. She's just too cute. She's ready to go as well. So yeah, I hope you've liked those. I hope you've had fun. 
Um, I hope you're getting a chance to craft yourselves. Um, go through the end gaff of the stuff. Um, so yes, I'll be drawing the winners at some point today. Um, the, the video will be up a little bit after this one because I'll be doing that on Monday and I'm obviously filming today and today's Sunday. Um, so yeah, and I'll put that straight up. Um, so good luck everybody who's entered. Um, I will be doing another giveaway soon because I just felt so bad that I couldn't do it to everybody. So I thought I might do a digital giveaway for those that um, don't live in the UK. So once I've got my digital kits up, I thought I'd do a little bit of a digital giveaway as well. So watch out for that one. Um, if you'd like to visit my Etsy store and see what's in there at the moment with the digital kits as well as my journals, they are that is just down there in the description box below. And today, the day of the video, is the last day of 30% discount on the journals. Um, and the link's down there in the description box. Um, all of the people that I use, um, digital kits that I use from other people, are all linked down in the description box as well. So do go check those out. They're definitely worth a look. Um, and they're all really good value and they all print really, really well every time. So yeah, do go check those out. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for sticking around for my mayhem. And I will see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.